You're being asked this evening to consider a new development in Camden Street at the heart of Brockhurst Ward. With the strong feelings and opinions of the affected property owners of Camden Terrace and residents in Camden Street have been recorded in this video. The development involves the demolition of an industrial unit and the erection of seven new houses. The pocket of land you'll be deciding on consists of two parts. The existing factory unit and forecourt belonging to the applicant and a pocket of land to the northern edge which is conveyed over the generations for the use of numbers 1 to 6 Camden Terrace. Land in the application outside of the front gardens of numbers 1 to 6 Camden Terrace is not the applicant's land, something that's undisputed but is land collectively owned in unregistered form by 1 to 6 Camden Terrace. In my deeds it states that the piece of land is conveyed to the terrace, to the terrace block. Um, we all share the access to it. We all give each other rights to park our cars along there. Um, it has nothing to do with the factory's land. It does. It's been conveyed, and it's on the deeds that we all actually have the same rights here, which is to be able to use the land. And uh, obviously, the factory has got a different demarcation line, and it has nothing to do with them. Right, as far back as I can remember, this piece of land behind me has always been used for the access for the terrace. If you pass this planning application, the six cottages will no longer have the use of their land and you will be gifting the land without authority to the applicant. You will see from the planning application that the applicant needs to take this land so as to manoeuvre the residents in and out of the few parking spaces that are included in the application. Highways, a statutory consultee, say that the number of spaces in the development is not enough, not only for the new properties, but also for Camden Terrace, whose land would be being used without permission. Ken Dudley, or Professional Highways Advisor, says that in unallocated form, parking requirement is 13 spaces, just for the new properties. The applicant offered nine, has increased the number to 10. He argues that the return of two spaces on Camden Street then meets the criteria, but this isn't true. The reality is that these spaces in Camden Street are already used by Camden Street residents at night. The, the stress with regard to the parking is such that um, not only are people parking in Camden Street but have been known to use Elizabeth Court. It's difficult for them to move those parkers on, as it were, because they wouldn't know where, they, where they're actually visiting. The applicant states he needs the use of the northern pocket of land so as to manoeuvre vehicles in and out of the spaces provided, but he doesn't, when taking this land away, replace the spaces currently conveyed solely for the use of the residents of the terrace. But if we lose our piece of land, it's going to push all our cars out onto the road that cannot take the cars. At the moment, the street is already playing musical cars, leaving people to park on the main road in Fortin or around the corner into Russell Street. He doesn't dispute that he doesn't own this land, because in his plans, he proposes putting brass markers along the existing boundary. Contrary to his assertions in his planning application, there is nothing in Mr Bland's deed saying he can use the land. There is a frequent reference within the planning documents to the gardens and the pocket of land being at the rear of the properties. They are at the front of the properties. Street Scene, your professional waste management experts, say that the number of bins provided is sufficient for the new properties. We're concerned that as they're communal bins, no one will have sole responsibility for the movement and cleaning of the bins and that there will be waste left outside. Additionally, the distances between the new and existing properties. The distance between the buildings is, is not right. It is actually going to be a little bit close. At its best is 21 metres. At its worst is only 14 metres. So strong is the feeling by residents against the application. We've presented a petition to you with 54 signatures. This from residents in Camden Street, Camden Terrace, Russell Street, Fulton Road and Inverness Road. My children are 10 and my youngest is 7. My children use this piece of land by walking along there to gain access to our properties, to their homes, um, to play on when there's no cars there. I worry with the development, the safety of my children and any visitors we have. Um, they want to take our pathway, uh, they want to take the piece of land and give us no pathway. The number of properties are too many for the amenities provided. When you come home at night, like for instance my husband, can never find a place to park and you seem to be going around forever. Before making your decision this evening, we ask you to come to Camden Street for a site visit and see for yourselves the parking problems we have. And if you're unable to do so, please firmly endorse your professional planning officer's recommendation, the highway's professional advice, and reject this planning application.